What a day. Oh, what a lovely day. Ah, there's mess everywhere. Everywhere. It's glorious, glorious, glorious mess and destruction and dust and dirt and tools and pieces of materials. And it's, it's everywhere. It's, it's painful to look at is what it is, but it's the kind of pain that you feel like the day after a really good workout or, you know, some, some really strenuous physical labor. It's, it's a positive, a constructive pain of seeing all of this mess because good stuff has happened today. Really good stuff. Look at this stuff out just temporary lighting ladder. There's ugly ladder here. I actually used those Lego brick boxes to actually, they, were, they came in quite handy uh, for doing the work that I did today by myself. I'm actually having to walk over the stuff. There's more stuff behind the curtains. Let's see if I can shimmy around the back over here without knocking anything down. Fortunately, I do have still plenty of room to walk around, kind of. Uh, tools, that's actually stuff that's left over from the past few days from working on the, putting up the curtains. Got another step ladder down there. I actually had three types of <laughs> kind of ladder-like things. More tools over here, more hardware. Look at this, more electrical stuff that's been torn out, torn apart. Ah, oh, it's just, ah, oh, the humanity. What? What is, oh yeah, and then the color, look at this. The color is all wrong. Freak out, everybody, freak out. Oh goodness, everything has changed and it's permanent. Nothing can be changed back to the way it was. <laughs> Why? Why? So the lights are the way that they are because they are on their default settings. Now you have the, uh, the Philips Hue lights, which can change colors, which I get the nighttime things and dawn and the dusk and all that. And they're just on their default settings because I've been flipping the breaker on and off all day. And I just figured I'd leave these here and I also put in some more lights, which I haven't actually set up properly yet. So they're on their defaults. I have extended my track lights down to that end of the room. I did it. It's my first ever uh, uh, line voltage project. I've, I've worked on, uh, I've worked with like some, some pretty gnarly high amperage, like 100, 120 amp bursts DC stuff before brushless motors and speed controllers and, you know, big, thick wires and you know worked around that stuff while it's live and everything i've never actually done anything with live line voltage with it which in the u.s is uh, 120 volts uh it's i think most of the world's what we call 220 it's 240 i've never done anything with that anymore i actually i'm glad to have gotten over that hump to actually be able to put that on a checklist and to just have gained more confidence there i actually am 100 percent certain that that the stuff that I wired up is safer and significantly neater than the stuff that the electrician did when the, the tracks were first installed, the, the first section of tracks. So I actually need to get more light fixtures. I forgot that I had already installed a bunch of the light fixtures that I got a year ago or so down here. Uh, so I don't have any, I don't have enough for the for the rest of, of the room. I don't have as many as I as I thought I did to spare. So I I've actually just placed another order for more of those so that I can put more lights up. I do have the light bulbs. I just don't have the fixtures to place them in, you know, the, the head units to place them in. But ah I am so glad that I got this done already. I really wasn't expecting it to get done this soon, but you know I had the momentum going of doing construction work, working up on on the ceiling and I already had made a bunch of mess and I just I just felt like continuing on it I did have some frustrating moments along the way and I actually uh, feel a lot more sympathy for my electrician uh, my, my first electrician who like I said you know put in the initial tracks when I first moved in or before I moved into the house in the first place those tracks can be very finicky and they can be very annoying to to get to actually connect right but anyway I got past all that this is on, it's much more dim than it should be, but I will fix that when I put more lights in. I've spread some of the existing ones out. Who knows, maybe at some point I'm even gonna gather up the courage to take out those stupid ceiling fans. I took the blades off one of them, but I uh, need to take both of those actual units out. But this was just, I just feel so good. I just feel so good. <laughs> it was a really 
really good day. I'm glad to have gotten over those humps. And look at this. Look at all this space. This is something that I forgot to show in, in the last video. I have all of this space that I can walk around because I took out the, the cabinets along the side. Look, I, I can move around. I can just, I can just come down and look down here. And yeah, there's, there's stuff that's, that's a mess. Don't worry about it. Don't freak out about everything. Slot car track. Temporary. Everything. Temporary. Work in progress. Yeah, yeah. Hey, it's a, like I say, it's a good day here. We're not going to get caught up on, on stupid little stuff that's just, like I said, work in progress. But uh, yeah, that's actually, that was, that was my first time using the, uh, the camera back, back there. <sighs> yeah, it just, it just feels good to finally have made this much progress on some, some more infrastructure stuff. You know, I haven't done much infrastructure work in a while and I've been just really procrastinating on a lot of this stuff. So the new tracks are in. Once I get additional fixtures in, I will be able to, well, just have a lot more light and it'll be a lot more consistent light. The backdrops will look better. I still need to, as I said before, of course, tidy up the edges of the, the backdrops, but I think that everything here is really coming together Gosh, this looks so good to me, so much better than before. That consistency behind it. Once I start really getting it dialed in with lighting for the backdrops, ah, it's gonna be, it's gonna be good. Let's see, I still got this dark corner over here, but oh yeah, I took out the, the torchieres, the floor lamps that I had back in that corner. So those aren't in the way anymore. Um, yeah, just good stuff. And I wanted to share it because I did a lot of work today, so. Whether anybody cares about it or not, well, eh, eh, whatever. It was, it was done, and I felt good about it, so I decided to, to share it, let you see what's going on, and who knows what'll end up happening tomorrow. And I think I know what'll happen, end up happening tomorrow. I will be doing a lot of cleanup. So, yeah, right now I'm going to take a break, and I'll talk to you again as soon as I can. Bye for now.